One of the other ways that we can train our dog to perform behaviors is through a technique called luring. In this video, I'm going to be luring my 16 week old Australian Coolie puppy, Peek, and showing her how to do a spin or a twirl behavior. So let's get started. When we're using a food lure, what we're doing is putting a cookie at our dog's nose and then asking them to perform the behavior that we're looking for. One of the challenges with luring is that often the dogs become reliant on the food um, and it can be difficult to fade out the food lure. Here are a couple of quick tips. What I recommend is lure the behavior the first three to five times. Once the dog is able to fluently offer that behavior with the food in your hand, then start to kind of fake them out. So what you're going to do is do the same exact luring motion, but without a cookie in your hand, and then you'll still mark and reinforce them for that behavior. So I'm gonna do it twice with cookies in my hand. I've got two cookies here. And then on the third rep, I won't have a cookie in my hand. So I'm gradually starting to lift my body up to a standing position. I'm also not keeping my hand as close to my dog's mouth and instead kind of luring them around in a circle. Now when I'm starting to get those, a little bit more of that jumping and lifting, it's not a behavior I really want to reinforce that much. So I might go back and make it just a little bit easier to let her know that it's really about all four of your feet staying on the ground while we're doing this behavior. So when you're using, good job, really. When you're using luring for teaching a behavior, it's really important that you fade out the food in your hand early on in your training sessions. And it's also really important that you start fading your body language into a cue that you'll eventually want to use later on. So just a couple of examples. If I want my dog to be able to do a spin just off of a hand signal like this, then I want to start working on that. Same thing if I want my dog to be able to do a down. Instead of having to point all the way down to the ground, I want to start fading that body language early on so that my dog is still able to perform the cue and doesn't become reliant on either the food lure or my body doing that exaggerated motion. There are lots of pros and cons to luring. One of the great ways, great things, there are definitely pros and cons to luring. One of the great things about luring is that it's very easy to get lots of repetitions of a behavior very quickly. 